Yo, welcome back to a new video. Guys, spoiler leaks and previews are now out for My Hero Academia's next upcoming chapter, 319. And yo, back to back, Black Clover and My Hero have the best chapters this week. It's not even close. And honestly, if I'm going to go far ahead and say My Hero Academia's chapter, wow. Let's just jump straight into it because I cannot wait to discuss it with you guys. Alright, yo, jumping straight into it. From the release of this video, there are currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the color page revealed. And yo, um, it looks like it's taking off seconds where last week's chapter actually ended, but it, it this time. It's the whole class, the whole squad just rolled up. Last time we saw it was only Bakugo, but it's actually the whole squad. Even Uraka is there. Ugh. Uraka even says stuff to Deku. Deku responds. Bakugo being the man, the myth, the legend. Now, what's actually interesting here is the whole squad actually look a little different. They actually all look a little bit aged. I mean, Bakugo definitely looks a lot older. Uh, though I wouldn't say too different, but they actually do look different. Uh, the color page also is Todoroki uh, and Bakugo actually ripping up Deku's letter that he sent this class that he's leaving you away because they've already figured out that this is just all bullshit and they need to go uh, back and get him. The chapter actually ends with Bakugo telling Deku it's time to come back. Deku refusing, puts on his hood, activates one for all. And is about to fight the class. Deku's literally about to fight the class. What? This is insane. Deku has actually become the villain of the story. That's, that's insane. I was not expecting that. Luckily, though, we do have some trans uh, some summaries for the chapter. The title of the chapter is Friend. The chapter starts with flashbacks from a few days ago after Deku left the UA. Bakugo ripping the letter, as I mentioned, in the color page. Shoto and Tokuyami are next to him. They say it's only one guest, but they think Deku's with Endeavor and the other pro heroes. Ida asks why they don't they just call the pro heroes to confirm. But obviously, if you remember from last week's chapter, or I guess two weeks ago, this chapter that Todoroki's already been calling Endeavor and Endeavor is just not picking up. Jiro agrees and adds that All Might hasn't come back to UA either. Or Jiro says that their classes have been suspended and they're still waiting to advance to the next school year. So it looks like they are still 1A. Uh, staying in standby in the domes and patrolling the areas around UA. Bakugo says that if Deku is so afraid of going back to UA and attracting the villains there, there's no way he went back just to leave those letters. He asked someone else to do it, probably All Might. Bakugo also says that he knows Deku and All Might better than Endeavor and the others do, and that he knows the two of them will eventually get themselves in trouble. And he was right. Bakugo literally came in at the last moment and saved Deku's life. Well, I mean... You could say save Deku's life. Class A decides to contact Endeavor, but they don't really know how. So Chaco remembers that he's in UA Illumini. A few days later, Nezu calls Endeavor to tell the principal's room where all the students are waiting for him. Shoto tells his father to explain why he has been ignoring his calls and texts. He asks if he forgot there talking to the hospital about stopping Toya, to which Endeavor responds he did not, and that those words have been guiding him since then. Shoto blames him for letting Deku and All Might by themselves, and Bakugo intervenes. He says that Endeavor thinks it's the right thing to do because he really doesn't understand Deku. According to Bakugo, Deku is screwed up in the head and never thinks about his own good, which is true. Oh my god, yo. This is what I mean when I tell you, yo. Bakugo is the best character in MHA. And since All Might used to be that way too during his time as a symbol of peace, he's unable to stop Deku. He says that those two cannot stay together right now. There's a short flashback of the pros receiving news that Deku said he doesn't need All Might's help anymore. They say they wish they were fast enough to follow him around. He's about to say something while taking his phone out of his pocket. But Sarah interrupts asking if the GPS feature. Endeavor didn't answer verbally, but he threw his phone to them while Sarah called the phone together with Mineta. Sarah asked whether it's okay for him to borrow the phone or not. So they're basically borrowing Endeavor's phone and going to find Deku. So that's exactly how they actually locate 
Deku since Deku has been calling Hawks in Endeavor this entire time. Nezu told him that it's okay to bring him back to U UA. He explained he was agreeing to Deku's own will to not return. Now, what's interesting here is Nezu actually agreeing for them to bring Deku back to UA puts a target on UA. I mean, Deku was correct in leaving. Now, what's interesting here is remember, there is still a traitor among them, and we still don't know who. <coughs> so, we're gonna have to wait and see. My best guesses are Nezu. Uh, Nezu explained currently letting them stay, but it's still not the official evacuation area and he will do something about it. He said they'll be okay because All Might as the previous predecessor also went to UA. The next panel was then the rest of the class arrived in Kamino. Yamano announced that the jailbreakers were successfully caught and said good job Bakugo, to which Bakugo corrected to Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite. Dude, Bakugo's name, why? Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite dynamite banger to which yamomo apologized the citizens were free from the dictator's control deku asked them why they are here and uraka said because they were worried deku said that he's fine so they shouldn't worry and leave bakugo then clapped his hand and he smiled sarcastically saying that's great as expected from the one for all predecessor oh, bakugo is not having any of this shit and then he proceeds to ask him seriously so can you smile now Deku stayed silent and said, in order to smile and make everyone feel at ease, I need to go. Deku activates his quirk and told everyone to move away, to which Bakugo answered, Make us move. Chapter 319. And holy shit, dude. Deku and Bakugo and the whole class are literally about a fight. That's insane. I love this arc. I mean, I've, I've always wanted a more darker, edgier Deku. I mean, he's a shonen main hero protagonist 300 chapters into the story. Deku needed to be a little bit more edgier. And I feel like this arc has really done that for me. Like, my hero went from my like one of the greatest I read all every week to really being in my top five with this last arc. I really hope... Uh, Horikoshi delivers a good ending to this arc, but what are your opinions on my Hurricane Limit Chapter 319? Deku's literally about to attack the class, Bakugo telling him, Make us move. Oh, shit is so fucking hype, dude. Holy shit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Shimizu, as always. Peace.